Our world is exciting and mysterious. I share my stories of my adventures with you. Welcome to Igor Travels the World. First camel and the second one and one guy standing between the camel and another one is here leading the camel caravan. According to this man dress, we know how the Nabataean dressed. Long group with sandals. Can you see the sandals? Yes I can. This is a Persian's influence. So the Nabataean they use Greek, Roman. Egyptian and here they use the Persians. The Nabataean they wear sandals whenever they want to travel and they travel in the desert and desert means sand. That's why we call it sand dolls. Mm. <laughs> One arm is standing and look at his arm. Uh, and then his legs, yeah. Yeah. Next to the camel. And yes, the camel. so this side was completely decorated by camels. Wow. Twice, one of the scholars said this place was for the Nabataean whenever they want to marry. The men come and stand on the right, and the women on the left and they join their hands together to let the shadow witness. Wow. And we found this log on their uh, temples, in their road and sometimes in their tombs. Thank you. This is what we call it a treasury or al khazna. It's an Abatean facade, date back to the first century AD. We call it treasury because Bukha, the guy who rediscovered the site in 1812, he said the treasury in the ancient. When he said treasury, the gold seeker at that time, they thought that he is talking about really gold, but that guy he meant the magnificent of the site. The gold seeker, they came here inside, looking for the gold, they found nothing. They thought that carving jar, which at the top, hide a gold. They cannot climb up together, they use a gun to shoot it. If you look to that carving jar, which at the top, can you see the... The bullet holes. Excellent. Yeah. And the figure which on the central you can see the bullet's hole. Uh -huh. According to their beliefs, from that day till nowadays we call it the treasury or a khazna. No writing, no inscription here to tell us what is this. That's why we have more than 35 theories talking about it. But let me see, most of the archaeologists, they said, this one was a burial for Aritas IV, who was one of the Nabataean kings, and later they converted to the temple. They called this one from top to the bottom. If you look at the both side, can you see like a foot marks? Uh -huh. That is the remains of their scaffolding. They use scaffolding to carve this one from top to the bottom. Here at the front of the treasury, where is the people now are standing, in 2003, Petra Archaeological Park, they made a new excavation and they found a tomb seven meters deeper. And the archaeologists who work here, they said we have tombs, columns, in the post side with Corinthian capital and this form was completely baked 
seven meters deeper and maybe the pavement all the, all the way up to the dam. That's why I told you the road which we saw at the sea, maybe it's date back to the late material time. Inside this tin, four carving chambers, one, two, three, and the fourth one here. So this family was consisted of four people. They carved the chamber, and at the chamber ground, they carved here small box. They put the human body in, then they put stone and sand above it. Now you can see the carving chamber. This is like a gravestone to show us one is buried here. When they buried the human body, they didn't mummify, no jewelry, no gold, no gold, no food. They just wrapped the human body by a shroud and they put, they put him underground. Because of no jewelry, because of no gold, the human bones are still inside till nowadays. Uh, later, the Bedouin people, they used the same place to live in. That's why if you look at the cave ceiling, you can see the flat color which came from the Bedouin fire who lived here later because this place is really warm in winter, mm. cool and nice in summer time. Thank you. Wow. Can you see it like uh, steps? Uh -huh. This is what we call a corner step. This is a Assyrian design and also it's the way to have been capacity of this theater three to four thousands people uh, later the romans when they occupied the, the site they used it and they added their touches the orchestra and the columns which is stand at the front of the theater it is date back to the second century AD to the romans era and the romans people they use it for their religion ceremony and also for their music show as well now here behind uh, that is one of the Nabataean beautiful house and we believe that that house was for the VIPs because the normal people they lived in simple cave one, one room inside but that's one many rooms with open courtyard with good location at the theater view the Nabataean they carved the most beautiful houses at the site at the theater view so they did care about the location Today we said location, 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 location. Yeah. <laughs> and the Latin, they did care about the location. <laughs> and if you look inside the cave. Camel staple, camel garage, theater <laughs> yeah. view. Alright, so finished the uh, tour. Sorry, I had to look down because the stairs are a little treacherous here. Finished the tour and uh, going up to the monastery now. They said it should be about half an hour to 45 minute hike up and maybe I'll take a camel on the way down, which I think is the harder way to do it. So I'm only about five minutes in. I think it's really funny. There's these donkeys and they're on autopilot. <laughs> There's nobody guiding them. There's nobody waiting for them. 
I just think it's really funny. All right, on we shall go. So that's where I'm going. So-called best view in Jordan. And uh, supposedly you can see all the way into Israel from here. Okay, so I'm uh, on my way to the place of the high sacrifice. It's on top of the little mountain, you could say, that uh, looks directly down onto Petra from above, like a cliff above. It's 685 or 875, something like that stairs. You can see I'm already tired. I've only hit about 50. All right. On we go. So here is Petra past the treasury. And we are on our way way up there somewhere. <laughs> 